Enforcement Administration as the deadly synthetic drug fentanyl continues to flood the U.S. Yeah, we have new numbers tonight that show you drug cartels are getting more aggressive by the day. DEA labs across the country continue to track it. Bags of counterfeit pills pouring into their offices every day, loaded with the deadly synthetic drug fentanyl. So where are some of these things coming in from? A large volume of the counterfeit pharmaceuticals we see coming in from India, from Mexico, and from China. In the Chicago area, the warnings keep coming as the numbers add up. New data shows that from October of 2020 to today, the DA has seized 600 pounds of suspected fentanyl just in Illinois. 600 pounds of fentanyl seized is, would be enough potentially to kill about 40% of the U.S. population. I test close to probably like 100 tablets a day on a day. We told you about the growing problem earlier this year when WGN cameras toured the DEA drug lab. Starting down here, we have counterfeit ecstasy pills. And sat down with Chicago's DEA special agent in charge, Robert Bell. Since then, the problem has only gotten worse. He says the drug cartels are capitalizing on how easy it is to manufacture the synthetic drug, which is why the DEA has launched a campaign known as One Pill Can Kill. They say that's all it takes. Just two milligrams of fentanyl could end a life. Uh, the unfortunate thing is that large amounts of fentanyl are coming into the United States from Mexico in the form of powder and the form of black market counterfeit pills. Buyers many times think that these are legitimate pharmaceutical grade pills, but they're not. In February, TV personality Dr. Laura Berman shared her family story about the death of her 16-year-old son, Sammy, due to a counterfeit pill obtained on a social media platform. The social media companies lean on the fact that they can't be charged with anything because of the privacy laws. Her story shook up American families, but it didn't slow the problem down. In fact, the counterfeit pills have a higher chance of being laced with a deadly combination of fentanyl today. Look at this. In 2017, only 10% of them had a lethal dose. In 2019, that level raised to about 25%. And in 2020, about 40% or more of the counterfeit pills that DEA seizes contain a potentially lethal dose. So we're very worried for American families, uh, Chicago families and their children. Think about those numbers and they continue to go up. In 2020, Illinois saw nearly 2,500 deaths linked to opioid related overdoses. Nearly 40% of those deaths we're right here in Chicago. We've linked information about the DA's One Pill Can Kill campaign on our website, WGNTV.com. And that's what's so frightening, right? It's mm -hmm. just one pill. Yeah. Well, scammers are now targeting you through your cell phone.